In 2019, Drake made number five on Forbes' list of the richest rappers, and he was the youngest on the list by 10 years. The Toronto-born hip-hop star has found success hard and fast, and he likes to live his life the same way. Between jetting off in his private plane, endorsing the Raptors, running OVO, and spoiling his son, Drake has found lots of uses for his $150 million net worth. His latest expense is a $100 million custom-designed compound called the Embassy. You know you're curious about how Drake spends his fortune, so let's dive right in and find out. In the middle of hackney hustling, it could be in music, you could be building houses, you could be doing whatever, but... Drake's private compound in Bridal Path, Toronto is built to give the superstar some privacy. The rapper even got special permission from the city of Toronto to build the fences around his house twice the legal height. And he also shelled out about a million bucks for tall trees to put around the property. It's no wonder that the private neighborhood, which has housed celebrities like Celine Dion and even Prince, is called Millionaire's Row. But why wouldn't you want top-notch security at a brand new luxury mansion nicknamed the Embassy? Once you get past those fences, Drake's new home welcomes you with lavish materials like limestone, wood, and bronze. But the 50,000 square foot custom mansion isn't meant to just look nice. It's supposed to be practical too. Which is why Drake and architect Ferris Rafali designed it with some of the rapper's favorite hobbies in mind. The home has an NBA regulation sized indoor basketball court so that Drake and his friends can get in a quick game of ball before they head to his private recording studio. The studio comes complete with a cozy lounge decorated with some of Drake's favorite action figures. And that's not the only impressive collection Drake has. He has an entire room called the Awards Room, where he displays all of his achievements. And just off of that, he has a hallway devoted to his collection of sports jerseys. After a hard day of work, Drake can relax and entertain friends in the Great Room. With its 44-foot-high ceilings and tons of room to kick back, the Great Room also holds two of the most expensive pieces of decor in the entire house. The first is a Bossendorfer bespoke grand piano, designed by his architect Ferris Rafali and Takashi Murakama. In the U.S., a Bossendorfer can cost anywhere between $756,000 to $560,000, so Drake probably spent a good amount of his decor budget on this statement piece. The second epic piece of decor is a replica of the Metropolitan Chandelier. Over 20,000 pieces of hand-cut Swarovski crystal make up the Grand Chandelier, which is the second largest of its kind in the world. But despite the luxury, Drake would much rather spend his time in his 3,200-square-foot master bedroom suite. We know you'd love to kick back in that bed, but just wait until you get a look at the in-suite bedroom. The centerpiece of the epic bathroom is probably that 4,000-pound tub of black marble. It was carved from one single block of marble, making it one of the most unique pieces in Drake's house. It goes well with the eloquently epic two-story closet. We haven't gotten a very good look inside this massive closet, but Drake told Architectural Digest that it was designed with raw luxury materials like amethyst, rock crystal, and even diamond. The entire master suite is surrounded by 1,100 square feet of covered terraces so that even chilly Toronto winters don't keep him cooped up inside the house. But for some real relaxation, Drake doesn't just sit on his terrace. For some much-needed R&R, the star can retire to one of his two saunas, spend an hour in the massage room, or take a dip in his indoor or outdoor pool. The indoor pool is made of black granite and has a black light, so Drake can change up the room's atmosphere for any occasion. Atmosphere seems pretty important to Drake, since he also has a high-tech singing toilet outfitted with customizable neon lighting. When it's time to go out, Drake has a 10-car garage waiting for him where he stores all of his expensive vehicles. But we'll talk more about his car collection a little bit later. It's hard to believe that all this luxury is in only one of Drake's properties. The star also owns three homes in Hidden Hills, California, a luxury neighborhood that's also home to a few of the Kardashians. The first is a $4.5 million, 2,449 square foot ranch. Drake bought the three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bathrooms property with the intention of pairing it with some other nearby homes to form an estate. In 2012, he bought a $7.7 .7 million home nearby and then a 1950s-style ranch for $2.8 million. Drake, who just seems to love naming his properties, calls this one the YOLO Estate. The pride and joy of this trio of properties is the $7.7 .7 million home that Drake bought because it reminded him of the Playboy Mansion. It's because of this epic pool, complete with a waterfall and a grotto. The home also has tons of activities, like a home gym, tennis court, movie theater, and game room. Do you prefer Drake's LA estate to his Toronto digs? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.
Drake's a fan of luxury transport, but he's not always speeding around in sports cars. Instead, his favorite mode of transportation is his $185 million custom private plane. The Boeing 767-300F was recently given a makeover by Louis Vuitton designer Virgil Abloh, and now rocks a blue exterior with painted clouds. When it comes to cars, though, Drake is a collector. No wonder he needs so much room in his garage. One of his most impressive vehicles is a rare Bugatti Veyron Sangwar for $3.4 million. Only 12 were ever built. Rare vehicles seems to be a pretty big theme in Drake's car collection. He also has a Mercedes Maybach G650, of which only 99 were ever made. Drake is the only person to own one in all of North America. He also managed to get his hands on a rare Mercedes Pullman worth $600,000. And he owns the very last Maybach 62S Landali that was ever built. This particular collector's car is estimated to have cost the singer over a million dollars. Drake also has a few more practical cars that he's been seen rolling around in. One of his favorites might be his Ferrari Le Ferrari, which he purchased for over a million dollars. Another is his Lamborghini Aventador, which cost $400,000 and is estimated to have a top speed of 217 miles an hour. The rapper also has a DeVille 16 worth $2.2 million, a Rolls-Royce Dawn worth $400,000, and a few other classic luxury vehicles. His garage also contains a Lamborghini Gallardo, a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren, a Bentley Continental GTC, and a McLaren 675 LT. Oof, that's a lot of cars to have to choose between every day. Which of Drake's many vehicles do you want to drive the most? Let us know in the comments. If there's anything Drake loves as much as collecting cars, it's collecting shoes, watches, and clothing. Drake's fashion sense has cost the singer millions in his unique and trendy pieces. One of the standouts is his $750,000 Richard Mill watch. Backstage at the O2 Arena in 2019, he showed off his luxury watch and the rest of his outfit, including an $11,000 Brioni jacket, a Tom Ford outfit worth 18 grand, and a custom diamond chain worth $200,000. The basketball fan also has been spotted at Raptors games with a $600,000 Paytech Philippe watch and a custom Raptors championship ring. The rare rose gold watch is made with a total of 1,343 diamonds. Drake also has a thing for shoes and handbags. You've definitely seen the rapper rocking classic and rare kicks, like the not-yet-released Air Jordan 1 High OG Dior sneakers that he showed off in a sneak peek of his closet. But these $2,000 shoes aren't even the star of the show. He also has a pair of bright yellow Jordan 5 Retro Tokyo T23 kicks, which would sell for over $5,000 today. Drake also has an impressive collection of vintage Nike shoes honoring the late and great Kobe Bryant. In total, experts estimate his collection to be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But Drake also likes collecting Hermes Birkin bags. These expensive bags aren't for him. He's actually been collecting them for years as a gift to his future wife. One of his most expensive pieces is a Hermes Himalaya Birkin valued between 100,000 and 400,000 US dollars. Drake does a lot more than just music to be able to afford this kind of luxurious living. For starters, he co-owns OVO, October's very own, which is a company that encompasses his record label, clothing line, and radio station. In 2019, he made about $50 million in profit off of his clothing line alone. Drake is also an ambassador for his favorite sports team, the NBA's Toronto Raptors. He started the massively popular We the North campaign in partnership with the team. He's even hinted at his desire to buy the team one day, which seems 100% possible as the rapper continues to grow his fortune. But Drake doesn't keep every bit of money for himself. After all, he started at the bottom. His passion for sports has led him to donate $3 million in partnership with the Raptors to Toronto and Canadian basketball teams in order to make playing more affordable. And you cannot forget the $1 million that he gave away to fans during the filming of the God's Plan music video. The $1 million in cash was supposed to be the budget for the video, but Drake had better ideas of how it could be spent. Drake has the money to spare, since he reportedly makes up to $2 million per night while on tour. His fortune has convinced him to start branching out on other investments. Recently, he became an investor in the tech company Omni. Even though Drake will probably continue to invest in the future, his goal has always been to build his own empire. He even has his own luxury line of champagne called Mod Selection, which costs between $300 and $400 a bottle. Let us know in the comments if there's anything in particular you would love to see Drake get in on next. 
Drake does have a brand new venture the likes of which he's never done before. He's become a father. His son Adonis was just recently introduced to the world after rapper Pusha T let it slip that Drake really did have a kid. And Adonis is definitely growing up to love the finer things in life. Can you blame him when his father's house looks like something out of a fairy tale? In a rare sneak peek into his son's life, Drake and Sophie shared some photos of Adonis' lavish second birthday party. They decked out the rapper's home with gold balloons and lots of decorations featuring what seemed to be Adonis' favorite character, Cookie Monster. We've also got a sneak peek at Adonis' love for art and the mini luxury car that he loves to drive around in. It seems like Drake really is following his motto of family over everything. So what do you think of Drake's luxurious lifestyle? What moves will the rapper make next? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to The Richest for more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.